Hey everyone, this is Ross, and today I received a type of biological filter media known as BioMotion. I got this off a guy with a username PondGuru, so if you'd like to check out his YouTube channel, just click the link on the screen, and he makes some very helpful videos. But getting back onto the filter media, once again this is known as BioMotion, and it's basically cindered glass balls. Uh, it's got lots of holes in, you probably won't be able to see it because I've got a bad camera. Uh, but that allows for a lot of water flow to go through it, so it's very porous. And a lot of water flow also means a lot of air flow through it as well. And the fact that it's porous and has lots of little holes and chambers inside of it means it's got a huge surface area. So one of these little balls will have a very large surface area. And that's important because friendly bacteria uh, can actually colonise that high surface area. And the more area you have for bacteria to colonize, uh, the healthier the water is going to be for your fish. Uh, so it's very important to have a type of biological filter media. Uh, some people use gravel in the filters just to provide a biological base for the bacteria. Uh, some people use little ceramic rings. Um, I'm currently using ceramic media in my filter. But I'm going to add some of this just to see, see how well it does because he sent some as a sample and I'm really liking it. Um, you'll probably notice it's got little white specks on it and that's actually a type of clay used in koi ponds and that clay uh, breaks down over time and conditions the aquarium water. It adds trace elements to the water and just keeps the water a lot better quality. So yeah, I'm really happy with these. Um, You'll also notice that the round in shape so you can fit a lot of this media in a very small area. So that's a nice feature about it. And he's also sent us some gel balls. And within these gel balls, there is actually live bacteria to seed this media. So when I come to put this in the filter, I'll add some of this just to help seed it with bacteria. And it should be good to go. Um, I'm just putting this in my filter in addition to the media I've got at the minute I'm not taking anything out that's the last thing I want to do but it's just uh, a great addition so I'd like to say a really big thank you to Pongaroo uh, for sending me this and now I'll just show you me putting it in my filter okay so this is one of my filter cartridges I've just opened it and this is the media that I'm using at the minute it's basically ceramic little beads and it's brown because that's the bacteria that settled on it. Uh, because there's live bacteria on this, I've got to be pretty quick putting these in. Uh, otherwise, this bacteria might actually die. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to scoop it up and put it in. So that looks about enough. And now I'm going to close up the, com the filter compartment and put it back in the filter. Okay, so the media is in the filter now. And the waters went ever so slightly cloudy. And that's just because the media has a bit of dust on it. You can wash it off if you like. But if you've got uh, filter pads or filter floss, then that should take it out of the water fairly quickly. Uh, so yeah, that's it. So if you like this video, then please leave a nice comment. Please like the video and please subscribe. Uh, once again, I'd like to say thank you to Pond Guru for providing the filter media.